We're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and today we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star wide receiver Zion Raggins, who signed with Oklahoma. We're going to look at his highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page, but before we dig in, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're talking about these recruits every day this offseason, player by player. So when they start making plays for your team this year, next year, year after, you know a little something about them. Click that button. Stop missing out. We're going to start off with this 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here for just the highlights, fast forward a few minutes, you'll get there. He's rated as a four-star in the composite, but a three-star in the rankings. Ranked as the 76th best wide receiver in the class, 53rd in the composite. Listed at 5'8", 146. That's during high school, though. That's not now. But we got 31 offers to his name. 31 offers, I consider a good bit of offers. A lot of offers. And should automatically make you a four-star, really, with that amount of offers. And top of the schools looking at him. Just looking at the top here. Georgia, Florida State, Oklahoma. And on top of that, some smaller programs as well. The market's saying, hey, he's good. We want to try and get him on our team. And a lot of schools decided to do so. Then you look at the 100-meter times. 10-4-7, 10-4. We ran to 200 meters, so we got a gas tank. So you're looking at a guy with electric speed. And they're saying he's a lightning fast playmaker. They're talking about his 100 meter dash time. And he's saying he's 5'9, 160. Average 11.3 yards per touch. This guy's explosive. He makes big plays happen. And that's why everybody wanted him. And now looking at more 100 meter times here 10'3, 7, 10'5, 3, 10'5, 7, 10'5, 8, 10'6, 6, 10'6, 7. We got a 10'4 up here. This dude lives in the 10s. We got speed to burn. Win aided or not, 1037. You can't get much faster than that. That is blazing. Florida State, Georgia, Oklahoma, big time schools after him. We have some good production. 2021, over a thousand yards receiving. Going over to on three. Four star with on three, ranked 50th in the class. ESPN has him at 23rd. Rivals got him at 79. South Carolina, Florida, Florida State, Oklahoma. Big schools looking at him. Ole Miss as well. That's telling me that this guy should be regarded higher in the rankings because all these top tier schools are looking at him. There it is. Florida, Ole Miss, South Carolina, Florida State, Oklahoma. That being said, let's take a look at the highlights. Let's see what he's working with. we got about seven minutes of clips here. We'll hit that play button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. There he is getting the pitch. Building up here. Now we're. Oh, wow. Did you just see him hit that burst? You just see him hit that burst? The thing is, guys, this fast, you don't always see their top end on their highlights because they're so fast. They just get the separation, they can slow it down and cool off the jets a bit. He's got speed to go opposite field. Definitely has that, and you see the burst. I think the burst, even if he cashes out at the top end at elite levels, that burst that we saw already is nasty. It's enough to scoot away. He's got speed. These highlights are going to be fun. Hopefully you stuck around to watch these. These highlights are going to be fun. Right out in front of him. Boom. Cuts it out. You need this speed, Oklahoma, too. You're about to be in the SEC. You're going to have some competition there. You got a lot of doubters. A guy like this on your offense... As a jigsaw player, you move him around, get him the ball downfield, get him the ball behind the line of scrimmage, it doesn't matter. If he can make some guys miss or see some green in front of him, he could house it. There's only a few of these guys that come out in every class. Just a few, one or two, and they're not always that wide receiver. We covered a running back yesterday, I believe, that ran in the 10-4s. He runs in 10-4s, 10-3s. 10 3 7 was his fastest time listed there. Speed. Speed kills. Can't teach it. Not that type of speed, at least. You can't. That's God-given. There he goes. Good feet, good balance. Some people will call out his size, but again, to get to that burst and speed. And the thing about a speed, I get the 100 meter times, but that burst, that initial burst when he kicks it in, we saw it on two plays and it was more towards the beginning. That is really what makes him different that is what really makes him different on the field we've seen a lot of fast guys with good times but that burst that he had there on his first couple plays those runs 
is what really will set him apart from a lot of prospects. That is elite burst. I imagine he jumps out the building. Just from what I saw from that burst, I imagine 40 inch vertical easy out of this kid. Easy. And you're not going to see it on every play because it's only going to, there's the burst right there, but not all the way in. He's, he doesn't have the foot all the way down to the pedal, the pedal all the way down to the ground because he doesn't need it. Cameraman can't even keep up. Cameraman can't keep up here. You're not going to see his top end. You're just not going to see his top end completely all the way through because of how fast he is. He knows he's faster than everybody else. He knows when he's got a lead. He can cool off the jets a bit. Cameraman knows that he's going to struggle to keep up. He's got some pop. There he goes, moving laterally. He zooms. He zooms. He's fast. Instantly one of the fastest players in college football. You line him up. He's going to beat a lot of dudes. He's going to beat a lot of top dudes. You only get a few of these guys every year. A few of these. And when I say a few, I mean I'm just ballparking it off the top of my head. Maybe like one. Like There's always going to be a fast guy or two. This guy can zoom. This guy's quick. This guy, if he develops, gets a role in the offense, could be a difference maker. And it could be like a play here and there for Oklahoma. It could be much more. Could be much more. He reads leverage very well in the open field. He knows to go the opposite way when someone's showing that they're moving the other way. He reads their movement, reads their weight, where it's headed. This is a guy that could be a huge difference maker. Could be a massive difference maker for this offense. And it could be this year. It could be next year. Could be down the line. He is underranked by the recruiting services. Like he, due to these highlights alone and the speed we're seeing, and the opportunity and the upside here. Yeah, he should be vaulted up a little bit. And then you look at how many schools were after him. 31 at least. And then on top of that, top tier programs. And there's a reason why. And at best, the main recruiting sites, I'm not really throwing ESPN in that, had him in the 50 reigns or worth, worse. That being said, should be regarded as a very good four-star. Very good four-star prospect. He's got five-star speed. He's got elite speed. He's got that speed that could really turn things on. He's got the speed that can really ignite this offense, really make this whole team dangerous. Like If he hits early for this team and they decide to use him this year, Jackson Arnold has an outlet underneath or behind the line of scrimmage that they can use in some packages that can scoot, get yards after the catch, or if they have to use him later. He's got that speed to where you can just throw him out on some plays, have certain packages for him and throw him in. It's difference-making speed. He just needs green. That's it. There's a lot of upside here. There's a lot of excitement. There we go. More pop. Look, we're pulling away. Pulling away downfield. Very exciting prospect here. Downfield, good ball skills. Sees it through. Speedy slot, kick returner. I mean, even as a kick returner, with that speed, just any distance in front of him with some green, it's lights out for the other team. And we're going opposite field. We're rolling. We're rolling. He could be your guys as Tyreek Hill. Maybe not the same player, not the same comparison, but using a similar lower facet. I think this is the same play again. Twice. But again, we catch it, we get downfield, we go opposite to the other corner of the field for the touchdown. No one's coming close to catching you. And you're not going full speed either. This is a guy 
with home run hitting speed, five-star speed, that when he gets the ball in his hands is a difference maker. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. One thing for watching. Catch you on the next video.